Michigan State University played their most anticipated game Saturday, taking on bitter rival the University of Michigan. With the Paul Bunyan Trophy at stake, the Spartans were determined to have a strong game. The contest was a defensive battle throughout, as the teams traded field goals in the first quarter and started the second, tied 3-3. It wasn't until the final 23 seconds of the first half that MSU finally broke the touchdown drought on this 14-yard catch from Benny Fowler. The Spartans added another field goal in the third before Connor Cook was intercepted at the 46-yard line. But it was MSU that would regain the momentum as they sacked U of M quarterback Devin Gardner three consecutive times to force a punt and regain possession. From that point on, MSU did not look back, and they would add two more touchdowns and an interception of their own to win by a final score of 29-6. After the game, defensive captain Max Bulla talked about the three sacks following the interception. In those situations, they think they have the advantage. They think they're going to score. They think they're going to do, um, you know, it's a momentum change for them. And if we go out there and we stuff them and we can keep them out of even scoring a field goal, uh, it's double. You know, it takes away theirs and it gives us momentum. So it's just an opportunity for us to change the game. U of M quarterback Devin Gardner was forced to leave the game with an injury, and defensive end Shalit Calhoun said they were out to make him pay the price from the start. I could see that he was realizing that we were there. You know, he, he understood that we were coming after him, and you know we weren't going to stop. We were going to try to be dominant from the first snap to the last. And you know, like we always say, it's not it's not how you start the game; it's how you finish. And unfortunately, he was unable to finish the game. Coach Mark D'Antonio was happy with the win, but he said effort is all he was looking for. You know, hard is good enough for me. To be honest with you. You play hard, you give everything you've got, you lay it on the table, you don't flinch, that's good enough for me. We'll take the losses and take the wins. Just like last year, we did the same, but we lost a couple close games. That's good enough for me. That's all I ask. You know, in the end, they've got players too, and it's a very competitive environment out there. So, you know, you just, you get ready to play, you do the best you can, that's, that's part of life. Losing is part of life. You gotta be able to accept losing, you gotta be able to, to regroup after that. And winning's part of the life too. You got to learn to celebrate winning and also regroup after winning. And that's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll, we'll celebrate this one. This is big for us. And before he left the podium, Coach D'Antonio had a message for Spartan Nation. I almost tweeted out today, you know, rise up Spartan Nation. Instead, I just think I'll tweet after the game, walk the streets. In East Lansing, for Home TV, this is Lou DeVizio.